Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Classic CC lets you apply color labels to photos as another way to organize and manage your catalog. Unlike other tagging methods like flags and ratings, color labels aren't designed to be used for a specific purpose. You can apply color labels however you like and assign them whatever meaning you want. For example, a nature photographer might decide to apply green labels to images of trees, blue labels to images of water, and so on. Photos can be labeled with five different colors, red, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Similar to other tagging methods, you use labels in conjunction with sorting and filtering in order to view and work with the photos you want. Labeling is applied through the library module. To add color labels in the grid view, click to select one or more photos in the grid. Then choose Photo, Set Color Label from the menu bar, and choose the appropriate label from the side menu that appears. Notice that the thumbnail mat changes to reflect your choice. You can use this same method from within the film strip, but only if you label one photo at a time. If you apply a color label after selecting multiple photos from the film strip, the label is only applied to the active photo. The grid view offers other ways to add color labels as well. Just under the image on the bottom right corner of the thumbnail image mat, you'll see a square icon. Click the icon to display a pop-up menu of color label choices, and then click to apply the appropriate color. If you don't see color labels appear in the grid, refer to the lesson showing flags, ratings, and labels earlier in this chapter for instructions on how to show them. In the Compare view and Survey view, the color label icons appear just underneath the bottom right corner of the photo image. You can also set color labels using the Library Module bar. If you don't see color labels appear in the toolbar, choose Color Label from the toolbar's pop-up menu. To apply color labels from the toolbar, click to select a photo in the grid or film strip. Then click a color label in the toolbar. You can use this method to apply the same color label to several selected photos at once in the grid view. However, keep in mind that you can only label one photo at a time within the film strip. You can also use the Painter tool to apply color labels to photos in the grid view. To do this, select the Painter tool from the toolbar. Next, choose Label from the Paint menu. The color labels then appear within the toolbar. Click to select a label color, and then click to apply the color labels to the photos in the grid. You can click with the Painter tool to apply labels one at a time, or click and drag to apply the color label to a series of photos. You can click a different color in the toolbar with the Painter tool still active and continue to apply color labels. When finished, click the circular Well button to the left of the Paint menu to disable the Painter tool. To remove or change a photo's color label, use the same methods used to change and remove other types of tags. You can change a color label by simply applying a different color label using any method. To remove the color label of a photo, click to select the photo. Then choose Photo. Set color label from the menu bar. Then choose the None command in the side menu that appears. You can also remove color labels by clicking the color label icon in the thumbnail mat and then choosing the None command from the pop-up menu. Lightroom Classic CC lets you assign names to your color labels. When you do this, the name is added to the photo's metadata when the label is applied. To assign a name to a color label, choose Metadata, Color Label Set, Edit from the menu bar. The Edit Color Label Set dialog box appears on screen. Click into any text field and replace the name of the color with the name of your chosen label. For example, you could replace the word red with the word macro and then use red to label photos taken with the macro lens. You can replace all of the colors with your own labels or just one. You can also save your changes as a custom preset for later use. For example, after replacing the word red with macro, you could then replace the other color names with telephoto, fisheye, zoom, and wide angle, for example. To then save the new labels as a color label set, click the Preset drop-down menu at the top of the dialog box. Then choose the Save Current Settings as New Preset command from the drop-down menu that appears. The New Preset dialog box then appears on screen. Type a name that describes the color label set. For example, you could name the color label set Lenses. Then click the Create button to close the dialog box and create the new label set. 
When you are done entering information into the Edit Color Label Set dialog box, click the Change button to preserve your selections and close the dialog box. To edit or delete a color label set you have created, select Metadata, Color Label Set, Edit from the menu bar. The Edit Color Label Set dialog box then launches and displays your most recently created label set. You can use the preset drop down menu to select a different color label set if necessary. To rename the preset, select the Rename Preset where the preset name follows from the preset menu. The Rename Preset dialog box then appears on screen. You can type a new name for the label set and then click the Rename button that appears. To edit the labels in the preset, simply click into the text fields and type Replacement Text. To delete a custom label set, choose the Delete Preset Preset Name from the preset drop down menu. When you are done making selections and entering new text, you can click the Change button to close the Edit Color Label Set dialog box and preserve your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.